Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. In this quick guitar tricks we're looking at hybrid picking, what it is, how to do it and some of the things you can do with it. The basic technique is to pick with the pick and then with a the finger. The middle is the most common and what we'll be focusing on but your third and fourth fingers are both for your game. I can't remember when I stumbled across this technique or why I decided to learn it. I have a feeling it's something to do with Guthrie Govan, maybe a lick of his or something. If you want some Guthrie Govan licks check out the card in the top right. But I know this took me a little while to get down. This exercise here is a really good starting point. Going down on the 7th fret with the plectrum and picking the 5th fret on the G with your finger. Just toggle back and forth as fast as possible but as slow as necessary. Next try replacing that first pick stroke with an up stroke. But this really took a while before it felt somewhat natural to me. Cool, and you can probably guess what's next here. We'll combine alternate picking with the hybrid picking. Down on the D string, finger on the G, up stroke on the D string, fingering the G string. Cool, now we've got an idea of how to do it. Where can we use this? Popping is a good application. If we're more slap and pop guitar stuff, check out this card. But yeah, we could go. Just gives a slightly different sound to using a pick all the time. Really great in a longer, more dynamic solo. Where I probably use this the most is for picking. One of the downsides to being largely self-taught is that you can pick up odd habits. It still feels more natural to me to pick in one direction as much as possible for arpeggios and broken chords. Guns N' Roses' It's So Easy being a great example. I could alternate pick this but it feels less fluid. What makes playing this even easier again for me is adding in the hybrid picking, like so. This might not be useful for yourself, uh, but with other broken chords, say like in that third bar, uh, uh, some hybrid picking can make life easier again. So if you're not too sure which notes I'm hybrid picking, uh, if you look for the little M next to them in the notation above the tab, that'll help keep you on the right track. I'm, I'm guessing you can probably work it out by looking at my hand, but just in case it's up there. So bonus tip, you might notice the sound is a little different when you use your finger compared to the plectrum. It's a bit uh, less sharp, it's a bit rounder, maybe less defined, unless you're popping, then you get more of a snap. Uh, so to, to balance this out what you could do is you could either use your nail, I, I like to keep mine short so that's not really an option for myself, or a lazy man's option, often the best option, just have a little bit extra of compression uh, to level everything out and make it sound a bit more kind of uniform. Veering sharply away from the more traditional chord based blues, folk or country uses of hybrid picking, you could use it to string skip like I suggested in my Guthrie Govan secret string skip system pro tip tutorial lesson card up there. The advantage is that your picking hand can more or less stay in one spot, which generally makes things more consistent. And it's even worth considering if the strings are right next to each other, like in bar 2. Uh, we could even apply this to the Dave Murray and Bellis Trill, for more on that check out the lesson card up there. I've got this in bar 3. Uh.
John Five and Buckethead have crafted some really quite unique sounds from combining hybrid picking with gain and often more contemporary riffing, such as Welcome to Buckethead Land's main riff, and if you want to learn that, click on the card in the top right. That was a brief look at hybrid picking, this has been Quick Guitar Tricks, that's the playlist there. If you want to learn about pick cradling, check out this video here. If you've enjoyed this and want to stay up to date with the channel, hit subscribe, share, like, comment, and enable notifications with that little bell on the side, if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.